like to introduce Mean Feet, who are a community dance group all the way from Glastonbury, like the rest of us. And um, yeah, over to Mean Feet. <laughs> I'm here with Positive TV and we are backstage at the Invisible Circus stage at the Sunrise Celebration Festival where we're waiting for the ethical fashion show to begin and it's all a big hubbub here, the girls are getting dressed and looking gorgeous and I'm here with the lovely Kat Ritchie from Sunrise Celebration. Hello. Hi Kat. Hello. So the ethical fashion show is really your thing isn't it? It's your baby here at Sunrise. It is. I've been doing it for the last three years now so um, yeah, we started actually the year that Sunrise went to the Big Chill and we did it in collaboration with them. We brought it there. And last year it was done for the first time in Gilkin Farm with uh, Mean Feet, yeah. the uh, community dance group. Right, and so they're, they they're choreographing the... They do. Viv show. Gordon, who is the director of Mean Feet, choreographs the fashion show. Mm. And they give it a twist, don't they? They do give it a twist. It's not the normal type of fashion show. Uh, it's more of a dance, kind of um, quite edgy, quite sexy. Mm. But it's just showing the clothes in a really different light. Mm. And it's also done by women from the ages of 20 to 50. It's just really important, I think, to think about what it is you're wearing mm. because a huge amount of problems are caused by different things in the fashion industry. You know, the third world slave labour, yeah. the cotton farming, mm. the amount of pesticides used on land for cotton. And it's just something that we all need to think a bit more about yeah. because I think it's not 0.5 to 4% of the final garment price goes to workers in the third it's world. It's shockingly low. It's, it's high, shocking, yeah. What are the designers that you've got in the show today? Well, the designers are all local and uh, they're all small scale and they all make their clothes ethically. So uh, we've got people like Amanda Chambers, who uses a lot of hemp and silk mm -hmm. and some bamboo as well. We've got Jenny McCarty, who uh, uses recycled cotton, so a lot of her dresses are made from actually all dishcloths, wow. which doesn't sound That's good, amazing. but they are actually really beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we've got Sophie Harrison, who felts her clothes, and they're, they're like works of art. You mm. know, she creates these amazing waistcoats. Yeah, coats, I've seen so. them, they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. They are like works yeah. of art. And lots of other, you know, collectives of you know designers that make one-off pieces and make them as ethically as they can or hand make them. Yeah. So uh, in terms of affordability, is it an affordable range? It's what definitely an affor do? affordable range, you know. Um, people like Rita Jerez who do the uh, ethical cashmere, her clothes are expensive mm. but very beautiful mm. um, and that's more l the luxury end. Yes. But we've got, you know, many of the dresses are about £50. Pounds. It's and not a sporting huge, one from Samamba, yeah. which was yeah. actually only £25. So yeah, it's definitely go. affordable and something yeah. that people can reach out to and do in their in their everyday lives. And it doesn't have to be a, yeah. a big outlet. And plus, that's not just the only way of having ethical fashion. Going to charity shops and being creative and, you know, taking your old outfits and... Um, redoing them. It's just about, you know, yeah, actually thinking well. and creating and and it makes a lot of women feel really good to create something and then wear it. And you've been creating stuff? <laughs> well, I just put different things together. You know, I do a lot of charity shopping, a lot of vintage shopping. Yes. And I can come up with some amazing outfits for about £50. I can agree because I saw her out <laughs> last night looking fantastic in her vintage coat and gorgeous vintage dress as well. I'd just really like to get an idea of the kind of fabric that you work with and, and how you came to get into ethical fashion. So perhaps, how did it start for you? Well, it started um, through travelling, really, and through just of being in India, having a freedom of, exp of expression to make my own clothes and people liking them. Mm. What's really important to me is uh, not clothes as fashion, but clothes as a tool of self-empowerment and self-expression. What's the sort of inspiration behind your... Well, design? it's um, 
I guess it's classical shapes, but with a twist in natural fabrics. Like, um, and also I want the thing with my clothes is they can cross a lot of genres. There's um, all sorts of ages of people and lifestyles come to them, and they're designed to be timeless. You know, I really don't believe in throwaway fashion, and I don't believe in. Um, I think it's really disempowering actually to dress the same as Cosmopolitan or Vogue or whatever these magazines are, just in this whole grinding capitalist machinery. Mm. We've been um, making like a, a comedy fashion show and we use models of all different shapes and sizes yes. and that's sort of the ethos of the dance company is to work with people of all different ages and shapes and sizes and to sort of break down some of the body bias that yeah. there is in dance that is also in the fashion, fashion world yeah, so that's sort of why we took it on yeah yeah brilliant so Viv show us some of your props uh, Alexandra Burke oh, great. <laughs> lots of air grabbing <laughs> yeah. and then we've got our Lady Gaga teacups does she sit around drinking tea like a lady? Well, she she does that, doesn't she? She's got a big tea cup. And but she's moved on to telephones now. Has she? We didn't have any telephones. And are the dollies part of the set? The dollies are part of the Madonna um, dance. Are they? Yes. I won't tell you what. <laughs> Amazing. How many and girls are you choreographing in this? Nine women yeah. and one bloke. Wow. Only one bloke. Only one man. Was that because you couldn't find men that wanted to do that? Or? It's because a lot of the designers don't make men's clothes. Okay. Yeah.